Once again, on the 5-Minute Leadership Podcast, we are talking about how to solve your leadership shortage. And the beginning point of that is to identify those potential leaders. I believe we all have all the leaders we need right in front of our face, right here in our organizations, in our congregations, on our teams. We just need to find those potential leaders, empower them, equip them, and give them a chance to lead. Once we've identified, the next important part of this leadership development process is instruction. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, it says, All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be competent, equipped for every good work. And what we need are competent and equipped leaders around us. But in order to get there, what they need oftentimes is correction, rebuke, reproof, and training. Here it talks about training in righteousness, but there are all types of other training that are needed that come through instruction in our context, in a spiritual leadership context, it's primarily instruction through God's Word, but there are certainly other areas of instruction that are important for leadership. I think of a time a few years ago, I was speaking at a conference with a man I had never met, but he was a legend in pastoral circles. This guy had one of the, uh, really one of the original mega churches in America. At the time, a couple of years ago, we were together at a conference. Uh, he was 89 years old. And when he got up to speak, he didn't have a note. He didn't even take a Bible with him. But when he started his message, he quoted most of Romans chapter 10, word for word in the King James. Later on in his message, he quoted to make a point about the supremacy of Christ and the centrality of Christ, he quoted most of Hebrews 1, word for word in King James. And afterward, I sat with this 89-year-old retired pastor who was still preaching all over the world. And we were talking and I said, do you have a disciplined routine of memorizing scripture? And he laughed and he said, I have never intentionally memorized a verse in the Bible in my whole life. And yet I watched him quote chapters and multiple verses. And I said, well, how do you know so much of scripture word for word? He said, it comes from studying, reading, and praying God's Word. I walked away thinking, you know, that's the goal of instruction, is that we get the Word deep in our heart, that we get the Word so much a part of us that it just comes out naturally. Now, there are a lot of ways we can get instruction uh, through classroom settings, and I have certainly had life-changing times in the classroom uh, that have really shaped the way I think and the way I live and the way I go about life and ministry. Not only classroom, but there's also sermons that are preached every week. And that's a moment of instruction. It's inspirational and other, other things as well, but it's instruction in the Word. Besides classroom and maybe sermons that we hear, there's also personal study. And that's what my friend, this 89-year-old pastor, he ended up memorizing large chunks of Scripture because of his personal study in his personal devotional life and, and, and praying the word and speaking the word. There are also books, a lot of books. We can be instructed by people who, who have been dead for hundreds of years by reading their books and reading what they left behind. And that's a great, great place for instruction. You know, today it's easier to get instruction than it's ever been. There are free podcasts. There are, we can have whole libraries of books that we carry around on our phone so that in between uh, meetings and moments, we can pull out books and read. And it has never been more convenient to get great instruction. Remember, in order for the man or woman of God to be competent and fully equipped for whatever leadership responsibility is out there, instruction is a vital part. We can't just have a excited hearts and empty heads. We need to fill our heads with God's Word. Leaders are learners. Lifelong leaders are lifelong learners. We never get to the point where we don't need instruction. Even if we are those giving instruction, we still need to be for the rest of our lives, if we're leaders, we need to be in a posture of learning.